Welcome to another video. The next browser on our list in the series is Brave, a browser that we use more and more. It's a free and open source Chromium based web browser that is getting increasingly popular. Stay with us. Brave is a sort of a new player in the browser wars. It's been around since 2016 and is co-founded by the creator of JavaScript and former CEO of Mozilla Corporation. Brave browser caused quite a stir when it showed up first, thanks to its unusual business model. Brave essentially blocks ads and website trackers and provides a way for users to send cryptocurrency contributions in the form of basic attention tokens or BATs to websites and content creators, along with the ability to keep the cryptocurrency they earned. According to the Wikipedia article, in November 2019, Brave launched Brave Ads, an ad network that returns a 70% revenue share to users. But if you don't care about ads, revenue and tokens, and you're only interested in web browsing, then Brave still has a lot to offer. There is still more to come. Stay tuned. Brave is a standard web browser that lets users navigate to websites, run web apps and display online content. It's free to download and use. Brave is built atop Google's open-source Chromium project. Some people say it's basically Chrome without Google-related proprietary technology. Still, Brave can run Chrome's extensions. All you need to do is to choose extensions from Brave's window menu and then the browser heads to the Chrome Web Store. On their website, Brave says the browser is three times faster than Chrome and offers better privacy by default than Firefox. Additionally, Brave eliminates ad trackers and blocks efforts by advertisers to identify users and then to follow those users. That makes Brave users more anonymous, they say. Brave has also announced that very soon they will offer a new search engine that they say respects users' privacy. All in all, it's our impression that Brave is a full-featured, very polished and fast web browser. Its so-called hamburger menu offers many options, including special private browsing with Tor, which is free and open source software for enabling anonymous communication. With all that said, now it's a question for how popular Brave browser actually is, and we will figure seem to be very impressive. According to the Wikipedia article, in November 2020, Brave reported having 20 million monthly users and in February 2021, it passed the 25 million monthly active users mark. To put that into perspective though, according to the Firefox public data report by Mozilla, the active monthly count of desktop clients has decreased from around 310 million in 2017 to 260 million in 2019. Up to early 2020, Firefox was the second most widely used desktop browser and that position made it the third most popular with 3.82% of worldwide usage share of web browsers across all platforms. Now, the next question is how to get Brave Browser. If you are on Linux, then it's not as easy as with some other platforms. Brave browser can be downloaded from the page of Brave Software's download site. The page should recognize the device's operating system and offer the appropriate version. There's a note on the page that reads that Linux is not presently supported within Brave's referral program. At this time, supported platforms are Windows, macOS, Android and iOS. To install the browser in Linux, you need to follow the instructions on Brave's download page and it all depends on the distro you use. We installed it in several Ubuntu 18.04 and Ubuntu 20.04 based distros with no issues.
Do you use Brave? What's your experience with it? Tell us in the comment section down below. In the next video of the series, we will talk about a very popular free and open source web browser that has been around for quite some time. Stay tuned. Like, share and subscribe. See you next time.